On this episode of Big's Build Hot Rods, as you can see, I'm dissecting this back door on the Crown Vic. I got the power window motor and assembly out. Tested it to make sure it was still good and all before I did that. And uh, I'm pulling the door panel up with this now, or the, you know, the little access panel. To do that, as you can see, I got it out with the hillbilly bucket on the back. So, it's what we're gonna do on this episode is try to make this thing power windows. We got all the wires, switches. We might as well try to use it. And like I said, this is really close to here. You know, when the door is shut, you almost gotta open, well you do, you'd have to open the door to roll it up manually. So if I can take this mechanism out, and put a power window switch there, it's good to go, you know? So that's what we're gonna do on this episode. And uh, man, we'll, we get these windows in, we're real close to finishing this thing. Here's just some old school hillbilly rig and I didn't even do it. This must've been done back in the eighties or so too. You got your speaker, look at this. There you go. You got your ice cream bucket speaker box. That's what it looks like, an ice cream bucket. I don't really know what it is, but sure looks like an ice cream bucket to me. What do you think of that? There's some hillbilly ingenuity for you. Well, I've done had this power window motor in and out of this door about three million times. This is what I made up. And it works, don't get me wrong. Well, it goes up and down here, <laughs> here. But because of this curve, I don't know if you can see that, the curve of the Crown Vic window, it just binds in this door. And without different tracks, it's not going to work. But I did find a cheap kit for like 130 bucks on Amazon for flat glass. So that may be what I do. Don't get me wrong, it's like seven days out. So I don't know that it'll be in this video or not, because this is what this video was gonna be, power windows. <laughs> but I mean, there is some other things I can wrap up and I can do some body work and there's things I can do. But uh, I may just go ahead and order them because I think it's going to be a whole lot easier. Uh, like I said, if, I, if this track was straight, the window motor goes up and down with no problem. It's just the track's not straight. It's just a curved. And I tried to kind of bend it straight, but it just kinks it. It, don't, it won't work. So, I mean, you can see it ain't, it ain't the greatest. So... These other kit comes with everything, like buttons and all, which don't get me wrong, I was going to use the Crown Vic buttons and all that, but, you know, fishing that big bundle of wires ain't going to be fun either. But we'll figure that out. We'll wrap them up and hide them somewhere because I'm not trying to cut any wires. But, uh, yeah. So I just wanted to let you guys in on the, the struggle I've been going through. I've been fighting it. Struggle is real. So now that I got everything out, I did order a window for this too. I didn't realize this window was cracked here. Uh, uh, Auto Metal Direct. I mean, they're not sponsoring me or anything, but man, $40 for a new brand new window. Couldn't beat it. That's cheap, man. So hit. Hit them up, Auto Metal Direct. And Auto Metal Direct, if you're listening, you can sponsor me. <laughs> I'll, I'll take some parts. Uh, you know, you can sponsor some builds. All right, I'll, I'll be back with you guys when I figure out what I'm doing here. Well, got this window working. I don't have all the wires ran, but I can hot wire it and show you. It'll, it will go up and down by power now. Got me a set of jumper wires here. 
figure out which way is up, which way is down here. Power down and power up. Go back down one more time. I want to lube them seals a little bit. It is now power windows. So that's cool. We got power windows. Uh, put a little juice down in here. Just help it slide a little better. But it is power. I got to run the, the uh, switches and the wires. But as you can see, it is power. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It now has power windows, and I did replace this window because it was broken. But, yeah, it really was pretty simple. I did kind of turn this door into Swiss cheese by changing, you know, the Crown Vic motor, this motor. Now it's these two bolts that holds the track, one down here, down the bottom there, right above the, actually, it's inside the door panel. But uh, now I think I can be able to put my switches here where the old window crank was. That's what I'm going to try to do. And then we will have power windows on this thing, which is pretty cool. A 64 panel truck with power windows. So let me, uh, I guess I'll try to finish up my wire in here. And route it because it's got a it's got a crossover harness that goes to the other door too, so you can do both doors from this side. So, yeah, I'll probably finish this all the way up and then work on the other side. So uh, let me get back at that, and we'll get back when we get a little further. Power windows on a sixty F one hundred, pretty cool. Power windows in the sixty panel truck. Can't beat that. Fancy. High flute and hillbilly right here. Well, got the window completely done. Window switches mounted. These boxes was cheesy. I just ended up making these little brackets to hold them on because they was not much. Got the power window or power seat switch all in the door. Crown Vic speaker in the door panel. I did put some undercoating on this because I think it looks a little better than the ugly gold. Still still may do carpet there. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I got to put the kick strips back in, sill plates. But, uh, yeah, this side is pretty much wrapped up. Oh, uh, everything, everything come out good, man. It worked, worked out. I uh, think I showed you guys the window working. Let me uh, hook the battery up here. I've just been leaving it unhooked because I don't know if I got anything going on or not. But uh, I don't know if the seat, the key has to be on for the seat or not. Nope, see that? Power seat. There you go. You seen the window work. So now all that's done, guess we'll move on to the passenger side, get the window done in it. And uh, then then it's seats time. We got to do the seats. Uh, I, well, the back seat just clips in. It's no big deal. It's still a factory deal, which is up there on top of the GMC. Not sure you guys seen this in the background, but this is a project my son's doing. 
C notch in the frame. Going to put the 12 bolt on top of the springs this time. He put new, uh, well, we took one, one helper leaf out of the spring. Plus, like I said, we're going to put it on top of the springs to lower it some. We had it uh, lowered once before a different way, but when we took it to the track, it was hitting the frame. We had never C notched it. So now he C notched this thing. And uh, it was a kit that we had bought. I can't remember where we got it from, but yeah. I mean, it's got a 12 bolt mini spooled rear in it with 373 gears. Pretty mildly built small block Chevy in it. I mean, it's it's decent though. It runs pretty good. But that's this is this was his grandfather's truck. You've seen it in the beginning of our videos all the time doing the big burnouts. So uh, it never goes anywhere. This is. GMC like 4.0 we've done put this thing back and forth together for years now I mean my son's had it since he was five when his grandfather passed away and when he was 16 is when we started putting it back together again and now he's 24 so eight years we've been back and forth back and forth with this thing uh I mean it's it's a cool truck something he's built on it I mean I've helped him with a lot of it but he's built this thing on his own seats got racing seats in it you know the dash the whole deal i mean everything like i said he built the console with the cup holder and the light switches i mean i helped him here and there put the gauges up where the radio used to be it's a it's a pretty cool little truck though and it means means more than how cool it is really honestly it does so but yeah i just i don't know why i told you that but i felt like i don't was going to i'm sure you guys see this thing in the background sometimes wondering and it's it's what it is so uh yeah let me uh try to pull this thing out and turn it around again so i'm on the right side and uh we'll work on the passenger side all right as you see i got a big old hole butchered in the side of this thing gotta do the gas filler neck took this out of the crown vic the other crown vic i got down bottom i'm just going to graft it right into there and then use the the box and all from the uh crown vic so it all bolts right in i got this box here the door the whole deal should work out all right as long as i don't blow myself up on this gas tank uh, cause it don't take gas too good. I don't know if it wasn't all the way in or what, but anyway, I'm gonna relay a shirt or something over the welding jacket down in there and we'll be all right. Hopefully if, if I don't post this video, y'all know I died. So here's what it is. <laughs> all right, let me get at it and I'll uh, keep trimming this out and get it fitting. Well, got it all tacked in. And realized I'm a little bit crooked. But it'll be all right. It's only a round spot anyway with a nub. It's going to be fine. And, hey, what do I always say? Hillbilly hackery. It's how it's going to be. Now I just got to make up this. Because where that gas neck had to be. It's got that. So I've got to make a little, little trough there for the door to open. I mean, it'll open the way it is. I just got to fill that in. So that's what I'm going to do now is try to make that up, and then I'll get to welding this thing out. All right. Hang in there. We'll get her. Well, got it completely tacked in. Got this bottom piece made. As you can see, kind of swoops right in. I don't think it looks bad at all. It'll be what it is. Now I just got a whole bunch of welding and grinding to do. And then we'll uh, bolt the filler neck and all that to it, and that part will be done. We'll, uh, once I get it welded on and all bolted up, I'll give you guys a look to see what it looks like with the door and all on it. Got it all welded in, smoothed off, good as it's going to get. A little bit of Bondo, should be sweet. And then we're going to bolt the filler neck and all on. We'll get right back at you. Got the filler neck all done, gas cap door on, all works. It does hit the fender just a little, you can't open it all the way, but 
good enough. Now just smear some putty around the edges and she'll be good. Can't beat it. It works. 2007 Crown Vic gas cap door on this 1960. Okay. I did the seat uh, hinge. You see, I put a couple holes, one on that side and one on that side to bolt it to the floor. That's how it is if it's setting, you know, upright. And when you release the re release that I haven't made yet, I'll make a latch back there. Yeah, it just rotates down. Or, you know, seat up. But more hillbilly hackery. I couldn't find Bronco seats. Well, not for the price I want to give. So the Crown Vic seat is going to be the seat. <clears throat> and it will, it will do it. All I did was took a solid rod put through a piece of pipe had a couple tabs laying around that i used you know no no big deal welded it to the seat frame i'll drill holes about the same spot the back or the front seat holes are i got holes at the same spot the back seat bolt holes are so it'll be good like here and here they're the same i'll drill a hole here and drill a hole here you know both on both sides We'll be good to go. So, seat is pretty much handled. Uh, I still ain't turned this truck around to put it in yet, but uh, I got a little bit of welding to do, and then I'll flip the truck around, and I'll be able to put the seats in and do the, the passenger window. And other than body work, this thing will be done. I mean, there's still a lot of body work to do, a lot of sanding, a lot of bondo, and... You know, whole bunch. I got to finish this weld right here. Then I'll flip the truck around. But alrighty, We'll get back with you when we get a little further. Okay, this patch is welded up. All I'm going to do. The bottom edge is just not exactly great. But I'm just going to mud it in with the rest of it. But it's alright. Good enough for body work. It'll be okay. I'm going to turn this thing around and I'll... Uh, Maybe put the seats in and then do the passenger door window after that. But yeah, we're getting it. Slowly but surely. Man, it looks good with the hood on it and everything. Even with the rust still in it. Uh, like I said, I'm not probably not going to do nothing with the doors because I'm going to try to find a good set of doors later. But uh, yeah, man, it looks good. I like it. Set's perfect. Love the stance of this thing. It's like, I'm sure the, the rocker ain't more than about six inches off the ground. Maybe a hair more, not much. Everything about it. The front looks cool. The whole deal. Give you sides view. I still got to pull that bottom of the fender in and put a bracket on it, but yeah. This thing's cool. Look at that thing. How do you get much better looking than that? It's cool. Alright. I'll put it back in now. I just had to stop and take a look at it outside. Well, back seat's in. Looking alright. I uh, only got the center seat belt in it because... uh. I don't know if I'm going to put the others. I think they mounted up top. I might just get some lap belts for back there on the side. They'll work. Same with the front. I'm going to do a lap belt. Somebody cut these front ones. So, but back seat's in. Let's get ready and put the front seat in this thing. Well, passenger side is now done. Let me reach across here and turn the key on. Power window up and down. Good to go. This side don't have power seat, so we didn't have that on this side to do. Only the driver side had it. But now we're gonna get ready. I got a bolt broke off right here for the front seat. I gotta get that out, and then we're about ready to put this seat in. Probably vacuum this floor up a little bit. And then I'll put the seat in and 
man, we're about ready to ride this. I do got to make a bracket on the front of this fender, hold this fender in, and then it's all body work and windshield wipers. We do got windshield wipers to do, but eh, do you really need windshield wipers? So we're getting there now. Doors are done. Seats are almost done. Uh, just about the majority of the rust repair I'm going to do is done. It's mostly just Bondo and sanding. And then, like I said, the windshield wipers. That's about it, man. We're real close to being done with this one. And uh, once I get this seat in, that'll probably be the end of this video. And then we'll do one of body work prowling. Then we're going to be just about done on this series. Uh, I don't know what we'll get into next, but we'll figure something out. Uh, we, I mean, we always got stuff to do. So we'll see. Uh, I'll get back with you and give you guys a wrapped up shot of this video. And uh, let me get this seat in and maybe put this uh, bracket on the bottom of the fender. And we'll go from there. Well, front seat's in. It is a little higher because I had to make the the bracket, but it now flips forward. I do got to make a latch system for the back, but as you can see, my hinge system works perfectly. Still moves forward and backwards. It's about two and three quarter inches taller than the driver's seat, but that's kind of what it is. It is what it is. I, uh, like I said, I got to make a latch system for this thing. But other than that, she's pretty good. Seats are in. I don't think it looks too bad. Sets good. That's about it. Now, I'm going to paint these brackets and stuff on it, and then uh, make the latch system and I'll be back with you. Yeah, like I said, I got the seat all in. Did this uh, undercoating on this side. It's uh, pretty much done. I have to go buy a latch system, so we'll just wait on that. I got to order it or something. I'm, I think I'm going to just do like a, a barrel lock and just have it slide in from the side, you know, into a loop right in the center of the back, have the rod stick out the side. I think that'll work easy enough. But yeah, like I said, windows all work. Uh, not even sure what all we did on this video. Windows, sort of routed the wiring. I don't know, we have to watch the video and see. <laughs> uh, starting to work on uh, rounding these fenders out a little bit see where the marks are here that's kind of where they're rubbing when you turn the wheel so i'm gonna try to pull this out and make it you know miss that but uh yeah that's gonna be the end of this video uh next one we're gonna probably maybe work on well body work and uh windshield wipers i think that'll be the, the last of the next one and, uh, yeah, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We're uh, clo close to 600 subscribers now. We're getting there. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be it, though. And I thank you guys again, and uh, God bless you.